Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I have not brushed my hair, as you can probably see, because I'm about to chuck it up. Let's be lazy today. So in today's video, why am I struggling so much to pick up my hairband? In today's video, we are testing out more Kiko makeup. It's been a while. It has been a hot minute since I tried out anything from Kiko. I love their stuff. I love so many of their products. You guys may remember, I actually did one of my first ever meet and greets with Kiko like years ago now. Still one of like the craziest experiences of my life. Shout out to you if you were there. Um, but yeah, I've loved Kiko for years, but I haven't tried out any of their recent stuff. They've come out with a whole load of new collections. They always do. They always have loads of like limited edition collections, like birthday collections, and I have a nice Nice little selection here, a nice little selection of collections. Have I even taken a breath yet? <sighs> Breathe in with me. Let's have a moment. Okay, let's carry on. So yeah, I have a whole load of stuff to try out today. I literally have a full face. The only thing I don't have is brow products, so I have to slick my brows up with my Refi Brow Gel. Um, yeah, just chuck it on my face. What the hell is that ponytail? Anyway, oh, I saw some of you guys tagging me. There was like a TikTok and a reel, and I can't do it with these ears. But, okay, ears like this, I might, I might even just show you actually. People have been saying that this is how you're supposed to wear these headbands. I disagree, because I want the ears. And like, these are ears, like, hello, these are ears. Don't even tell me that they're not. Okay, there was a video, and someone, if I can fit this, oh my god, what am I doing, hello? How do I manage to make makeup videos of all things so chaotic? I'm literally just sat here, but they put the headband on backwards, like that. See, boring. And then they have these little ear bits, and people are like, yeah, and then you tie it around your ponytail. And I'm like, surely not. No, I want the ears. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on. So yeah, I have a ton of stuff to try out from Kiko today. And like I said, I do have a mixture of their like varying collections. What do I have? I have like their just standard range. I have the Happy Birthday one, uh, the Blossoming Beauty, Mood Boost. What else? I've got so many. Um, Charming Escape. I've got the Sweet Affairs. And then what are you? Uh, yeah, for more sweet affairs. So I have a nice little selection of their different limited edition collections and stuff. Some of them are obviously older, but a lot of the time, I bit my tongue. A lot of the time you can still get even the older collections on the Kiko website. They just tend to be like more affordable. So that's great, but yeah, lots to try out. Okay, I'm gonna go straight in with the Happy Birthday Glowing Skin Primer Face Base. So this is their 25th anniversary one. Kiko's almost as old as I am. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like I've seen them do primers like this before. And that's the thing with Kiko. Like when I say I like the majority of Kiko products, because a lot of the time they have very similar products in like different collections. They might have like scents or slightly different shades or something. But I feel like I've tried out something like this from Kiko before. So it's just like a gel and it's got a bit of a sheen to it. Oh, it smells good. It does smell like a perfume. Some of you won't like that. If you're like me, you will. They also had like a, was it like the Ray of Light collection or something? And it actually kind of smells like the perfume they did in that. I'm gonna take a little bit more. It's fun though, that thing, because you've got these like suspended like pigment balls, for lack of a better word. And they just get pushed up and then they get mixed around and it's like this little makeup blender. Yeah, it looks. Oh, look at that shine on my skin right now. I actually look healthy. So next I have the Unlimited Foundation. I have two shades, so fingers crossed, one of them will work for me. Let's try 2G. Let's have a look at this. I mean, this is the deepest one that I've got, so let's see what it's like. It might be a little bit too light, but that's easy to fix with some bronzer. So it says that it's a long wear and comfort foundation. So, macro camera, hello there. Up close and personal as always. And I'm gonna go in with a sponge to start off with and just see what the color's like. Yeah, so it's too light, but it looks like the right kind of tone, so that's fine. We can make it work. Got a little bit of redness around my nose, so let's see how it covers that up. Actually, the color's not half bad, cool. Nice amount of coverage. Still looks nice and glowy on my skin. So far, so good. Let's do a bit more. In the center of my forehead. I feel like it's a demi matte formula. It's strange that it doesn't say what kind of formula it is on the box or on the bottle. It's a it's a bottle of few words. Oh wait, no, 
no, take everything I just said back. Lightweight liquid foundation with a natural matte finish. Yeah, uh, flawless hold and maximum comfort throughout the day, no transfer. Okay, so it does say it on the box. I just, I just didn't see. I'm gonna try applying it with a brush as well, just so I can see how they both look side to side. And it just has, it has quite a pleasant smell, but it is just like a makeup-y scent. Isn't it weird that makeup does just have like its own scent? Like when I say that, I know so many of you are gonna be like, yeah, that smell, no worries, got ya. What's your guys like favorite weird scents? Like some people, myself included, love like petrol, like two stroke. I'm trying to think what else, what else is weird that some people love? I feel like those are quite normal, but yeah. Let me know. Let me know how weird you are, basically. The weirder, the better. Okay, so that's how it's looking on my skin right now. And it does have more of a matte finish, but you can still see the sheen, like, bouncing off my cheeks there, which I appreciate. I'm getting more and more used to matte foundations these days. What did I just say? But I feel like these days, companies don't just do a matte foundation and it's like, bam you have no life in your skin. Uh, they're getting a lot better these days and I'm kind of liking it. So, so far that looks good. A little close up for you, that's why I'm doing like this awkward pose. I'm like leaning in for the macro. So you can see, <laughs> this, this camera looks so weird. I'm just like, what did you say? So yeah, you can see it looks matte around here, but then you've still got a bit of the shine as well. So now I'm gonna try out one of these concealer sticks. Now, I don't actually, let, let's open this up and see what kind of concealer stick it is. Okay, so it kind of looks like the Sigma Eye Pencil Stick Primer things, if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. Looks very, very similar to that. Also the Vive Eye ones, it's that sort of applicator. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, that's a lot more creamy than I thought it would be. How's that color looking? I'll try it because I've already swatched it. I might need to go in with the other shade though. Might need to go in with the other shade though. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scribble it under my eye to be honest because I'm I'm not normally accustomed to these sorts of concealers. And I'm gonna blend that out. Blends out a lot more easily than I thought it would. I'm always so skeptical of like sticks and things like that because sometimes they can just look so thick on the skin. It looks kind of nice though. It's giving me a little bit of coverage. I would obviously like a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a bit more. It's mostly just like this part here, the slightly more hollow part of my eye. And I'm also gonna run that <laughs> stunning eye look through my crease just to blot my eyes down a bit. It's like some interesting abstract look right now. It's like that song, somebody I used to know. I feel like I'm gonna sit there like this. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody I used to know. <laughs> please tell me you know what I'm talking about. Someone, just even just one person, please. Somebody. And what does this say? Let's see if we can find the instructions for this one now. 24 hour long lasting stick concealer, instrumental test. So it's been practicing the bassoon. The cello. Let's ask you guys another question. We're just getting to know each other here now. Can any of you, or have any of you, been able to play any instruments? I used to play, I used to have drum lessons, I used to play the guitar, and I also, I taught myself piano, like not, not like I couldn't read music or anything, but I would like teach myself a lot of things by listening. And Ollie actually got me a keyboard piano sort of thing that I can make like loads of different types of music on. So I'm actually gonna start lessons again soon. I think I'm gonna start online lessons at first, just to kind of get to grips with everything. But um, yeah, that should be fun. I'm gonna be a rock star. I'm gonna be there with like DJ. Ha, ha, ha. That's gonna be like my new hit. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna go in with the unlimited long lasting matte loose powder. I'm gonna try the shade 02. I'd always much rather go a little bit lighter with powder than too dark. Let's see. Now I do wanna actually look at the 04 shade though. Let's have a look. I might try the 04 shade first, and then I'll just like do it on my cheeks and just see how we go with that, because that might be what I need to just kind of add a little bit more warmth to me, a little bit more depth. So the product itself just looks like this. Tap some of that in the lid. Yeah, this might be too dark for me. It'll either be just right or a bit too dark. Oh, I don't know, let's have a look. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush. Taffa, taffa, taffa. 
and just lightly start tapping that onto my cheeks. Oh, it is very matte. Something's happening here, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Seems to be okay everywhere else. I'll try taking a little bit less. So I'm gonna use a slightly denser brush. Oh, there's a nice little bit of lash glue on my eye. Okay, don't mind it. Feel like I would prefer the foundation either with like a less matte powder or the opposite, the matte powder with a slightly more dewy base. But again, I still have a nice little sheen going through there. So it might just be that it's a little bit too heavy kind of on my cheeks. But to be honest, around my nose and stuff where I normally struggle with, I normally crack a little bit around here and get a little bit of dryness. It actually looks okay. So yeah, I mean, I think it's just maybe adding a tiny little bit more texture than I would like here. I wouldn't necessarily reach for it over other powders that I have, because I have a lot. Um, but as a matte powder, it's okay. I'm not like, you know, wow, go and buy this. This is amazing. But it's, it's actually, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. So now I need some bronzer. I have a few, I think, actually. I have the Happy Birthday Baked Bronzer in the shade Sienna. And the thing that gets me about the limited edition Kiko products is the packaging. Like, they always have such fun packaging. Oh, stunning. Stunning. I'm excited about this because I have tried out a lot of Kiko's bronzers in my time. And they smell like chocolate. They smell like the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. This looks really really good. I also have this from the Sweet Affairs collection. I don't know if this is just a blush palette or a bronzer as well. Okay, yeah, so this is just a blush palette. That's gorgeous though. Bloody hell, that is so nice. I will use that in a second. Look at that. That looks so, like, expensive. Um, okay, so we're just gonna go in with the... I've lost it. How do I lose products that quickly? It's literally right in front of me. So yeah, we're gonna go in with this bronzer here, the baked bronzer in the shade Sienna. It smells like chocolate, stunning. It's like a little party. And I'm gonna start off with a big fluffy brush because I do want to cover like quite a bit of my face with bronzer. It's quite a subtle bronzer, but it does add a nice little sheen to the skin as you can see there. So it might add a bit more life to my face. So yeah, I'm gonna apply a couple of layers of that. Honestly, it smells so good. I'm gonna do what I haven't done for a while. Doesn't really taste of much. Okay, just in case any of you were curious, I did it for you. Doesn't really taste of anything. Okay, bronzing myself up a little bit here. It does have quite, it's not even like shimmer, but it does add quite a sheen to the skin, which I'm not necessarily mad about, but I feel like with a matte foundation, Sometimes it can just look a little bit sheeny shiny, but we'll see. I need to actually finish what I'm doing here and just get like a nice color down for a minute. Yeah, this this foundation and powder combo is just a bit too matte for me. I'm not loving it. I don't know if you guys can see just around here. It's fine, but it's just, just looks a little bit more heavy than I tend to go for these days. Cause you can get like full coverage but you can also get it so it looks kind of skin-like, whereas this, I feel like it's just airing on the, looking slightly too makeup-y. So yeah, I've got that Sweet Affairs palette, and I wanna see what this blush is like. It's the Blossoming Beauty one. Cute. I think this is one of their most recent collections. So this is what the blush looks like. And I mean, like I said, you can just see all of, especially the limited edition like products, all of them are just stunning. So let's give a little swatch of that, it's a nice, Pretty pink shade. You probably can't see that too much. Let's try this, because this, this is just so nice. I'm gonna swatch the matte one and then swatch this shimmery highlighter goodness. Okay, very, very soft looking, like a very light shade. And then that's the shimmery highlightery blush topper thing. I'm gonna take the floral one, I think, first. I think what it is, and if you guys will be able to tell necessarily, yeah, you can kind of see there. This outside part is shimmery, whereas this little rose, I think that's a rose, is uh, matte. So I'm gonna go in with the matte one first and add a nice little flush of color to my cheeks. Yeah, it's just a bit dry looking. Let me get like right up close with you guys. What do you guys think? It's weird, cause it's like, I really, I'm really not hating it again. Like I would go out like this, but I think it's just, it's just not my usual, is it? 
So anyway, I'm just gonna press that bronzer and everything into my skin a little bit more. And now we're gonna move on to highlighter. I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of this um, blush or topper first. Just like, a, just a little bit. Cause I, do, I do, I wanna see. Okay, quite intense there. This is so like, surely this is a highlighter. It says it's a blush duo, but this to me is not, it's not blush, this is highlighter. I love the packaging. I love the formula of the products, but the colors are just a bit too, like this, if this is like a champagne with this um, blush, I think they do a, maybe like a bronzer and highlighter combo. That might be more up my street. I know some people absolutely love this because the formula is nice. The formula is like with a lot of Kiko products is really, really good. But I think for me, this color is just like not, not deep enough and a bit, a bit pink. It's just a bit pink, isn't it? Okay. I have more highlighters to try out. I have the Mood Boost Pearls of Light Highlighter in the shade Golden Soul. And this, I haven't used a product like this in a while. It's got a little foamy bit. It's just one of these, one of these, one of these. So I'm gonna wiggle my brush around there. I feel like a lot of the time these things are mostly gimmicks now. Like so, sometimes people get so upset when I'm like, who uses these products or whatever? But it's genuinely like, I don't see or hear of any of my friends using anything like this. I don't really see it too often online, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging you for the products that you use. Like do whatever you want to do, but I just never really see anyone use it. Like, do you guys still use the pearls? I know they used to be a big thing back when I was younger, but I never really see anyone doing it. Ooh, I was about to say, I was like, oh, that's quite subtle. But then the light catches it and it's like, where? Oh, my balls are flying everywhere. The way this is catching the light is insane. It's like, it doesn't really look like much on my skin at all. I wouldn't say it necessarily has much of like a shimmery finish at all, but it's just the way it's catching the light. Maybe I take that back. Maybe I do need to put more balls on my face because that, I like what this is doing to my face right now with all the lights and stuff. Like the light is reflecting off it so nicely. Let's go down the nose. Mmm. Oh, they smell really good. Kind of smell like the Guerlain Meteorites, which is a similar concept to these. And I know they were like a cult product. I don't even know if they still do them, but it smells similar. It's kind of like Palm of violet -y, which I know some people love Palm of violet Some people absolutely detest them. I am a huge fan. But yeah, anyway, that highlighter, Stunning. So now I have the Prime and Fix Refreshing Mist. This is just from their standalone collection. So obviously you can use this as a primer, but I want to try it the other one. Uh, but you can also use it as a setting spray. Do not inhale. Oh, just realized. Where's my pampas grouse? It's falling over. I'm gonna keep it like that for continuity. It's all it's falling over on the floor. Okay. It's got a fun little mister. I don't know why I called this fun. This is my idea of fun. I just inhaled it. Um, but it's got like a big button. This smells very perfumey. I like it though, but just a heads up. How do they expect you not to inhale it? I'm literally spraying something on my face. So I added a decent amount there just to see if it would sort of add a little bit more moisture to my skin. Ooh, I feel like that actually kind of brought me back to life a little bit. Okay, I actually, I prefer how it looks a lot more now. Now that I've got the setting spray on, it looks a little bit more glowy and dewy. I prefer that a lot more. I love that I'm like here, just like trying out matte products and I'm like, ugh, no, let's add moisture to it and make it glowy and dewy. And now I love it. It's like kind of defeats the object, but I do, I do like how it looks now. So now for my eyeshadow, I have this palette here again from the Sweet Affairs collection. This is the Guilty Pleasure Eyeshadow Palette. Eyeshadow palette in eight colors with matte and metallic finishes, vegan formula. Really nice packaging again. Like honestly, the packaging from Kiko is just A1. Ooh, ooh, this looks like a nice little neutrals palette, doesn't it? Hello, this color here, stunning. This shade here, also stunning. And then we've got a selection of um, metallics and shimmers. This shade here, oh my God, okay. That actually looks like a banging highlighter. Ooh. Look at that. I'm like checking my face. Do I need any more? Probably not. I'll probably use that on my inner corner though. Let's swatch maybe a couple of colors that I won't use. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this ready shade. 
Um, so let's swatch that. And then I might not use, let's do three swatches. I'm gonna swatch this matte one. They feel really, really nice. And then I'll do this gold. Oh, okay. So that is what we're working with right now. The matte looks a little bit, mm, looks a little bit sheer and chalky. Yeah, I mean, considering that's that color here, I had to like double check then. Let's do like two swatches. It does just look a little bit chalky. Blends out really nicely, but on like the first application, it's a bit like, hmm. And then there's the shimmer there and the gold here. So the shimmers look nice. So I haven't really set my lid down or anything like that. And I am actually gonna use that concealer because I wanna see if it is similar to the other sticks like the primers that I mentioned. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade here and just pick some of that up on a fluffy brush. Quite a bit of kickback here. All right, so far so good. That is a nice pink color there. And that looks pretty true to color in the pan as well. So happy with that. While I'm here, I am just gonna quickly do my brow bone. I'm gonna take a slightly larger fluffy brush and just lightly dust that under my brow bone and also a little bit, not into my crease, but just to like overlap the two. I'm adding a little bit here. Just, I'm just, I just wanna see, all right? I just wanna see what it's like. Let me live. Dude, my skin looks wet here. It literally looks moist. I'm gonna take some of that shimmer again, just on this little pencil brush. Pop that on the inner corner. That is stunning. That's so, so pretty. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of that because I'm kind of thinking I might actually just kind of do pink all over my lid. So I might actually undo some of what I just did, neutralize my crease a bit, and then put a lot of that pink all over my lid because I really like the color of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a lot of that pink. Just change my mind here. And I'm gonna pop a lot of that all over my lid, just pressing it in with a fluffy brush. I often like to use a fluffy brush when I'm pressing things all over my lid because I feel like it just holds a lot more of the product. You do have to be quite careful because whilst it holds a lot of the product, you can also get a lot of fallout from it, but I feel like it just gives a really nice even coverage when you use a fluffy brush. Nice pink, I never use a pink. I like it. What I actually wanna use, you know, is this pink here as well. Uh, let's just pop that on my lid straight away. Oh yes. Okay, I found a use for this wonderful blush topper. Really into that. These smell of chocolate as well, by the way. Just a heads up. I know some of you care. I know some of you don't care in the slightest, but I know there's some of you out there that also, you like the smelly face powders. I know you do. What I might actually do as well, just so I'm making sure that I use as many different shades as I can. Dropping my brushes everywhere. Let's just pick that one up on the floor. It's all right. Two second roll. I'm just gonna dust off the pigment with my little spongy thing. I'm gonna go on my lower lash line with this like more neutral shade, just to define it ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna take this angle brush and go in with this deeper, more chocolatey shade and get that little piece of fluff off there because that will, that's gonna screw me up, I know it. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a little wing, just a nice little smoky wing. Just something quite subtle. A lot of these eyeshadows look darker in the pan than they do on your eyes. That is one thing I will say. So yeah, that's, that's an all right palette. It's a nice little neutral palette if you want something kind of soft. I wouldn't say like, oh my God, best eyeshadow palette ever, most amazing neutrals. You got a couple of colors in there, like the pink and then also like that shimmer that are really, really nice. Uh, and that, yeah, the highlighter as well. Yeah, really into those. But if you're happy with your standard neutrals palette, you probably don't need this. If you don't have a neutrals palette and you wanna try something from Kiko, this this is all right. Okay, just a couple more things to try. I have the Sweet Affairs All-in-One Mascara and Eyeliner. And I also have another mascara as well. I wanna see which one I should try. So this is the mascara from the Sweet Affairs one. Let's see what the wands are like. Okay, that wand doesn't really do much for me. Let's see what the other one's like. But it does have a liner on the end as well. So that's... Could be cool. Mm. It's quite a stiff nib, so that doesn't like, 
I'm not overly drawn to that. But let's try out the happy birthday one. So this is the Luxurious Lashes Maxi Volume Brush. This might even be one of Kiko's like standalone products, but I think it's just had like a little glow up with the packaging for like, it being the birthday, but this is what the brush looks like. Again, not the normal sort of brush I would go for, but it does interest me a little bit more than the other one. So I'm gonna pop some of that on my lashes, haven't curled them, haven't done anything like that. Let's just see what it can do. See, the reason why like ones like this don't always interest me is because I find that it just takes a while to pick up your lashes. I'm like, is it doing anything? I mean, you can see it's doing something. It's making them look quite like long and wispy. I want more. Oh, I do like it though. <laughs> it's a lot softer than my normal sort of go-to lash, but especially with this like soft pinky look, I kind of like it. Normally my lashes look a lot thicker, but this is just kind of making them look like soft and light and airy and elegant and everything that I am not. I think that's quite a nice little eye look. It's very sort of like, let me just cover up my eyeball here. It's, just put myself in the eye. It's very kind of like everyday, nice and easy to wear, works for most things. Could be a nice little like easy sort of like wedding eye. Um, but it, yeah, it's nice. A little, little bit pinky, a little bit spring summery. I like it. Okay, so now I have lots of different lip products to potentially try. I wanna just check the colors first. I have this one from Sweet Affairs. This is the Sweet Kiss Duo Liquid Lip Color. So, you are a nude. You straight away have potential. We then have the Long Lasting Matte Lipstick. This is from the Blo 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 what? Blossoming Beauty Collection. You might be a little bit too dark for me right now, I don't know. I don't know, I'm going to swatch you. That actually looks so pretty. I might use that as well. Then we have another one of their birthday lipsticks, the Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick in the shade 02. And I do think I've tried these out before. Like I've tried this packaging out. I think it's literally just like the celebratory birthday packaging. So I might give that a miss. Nice color though, just cause I have tried them out and these lipsticks are really, really good. Um, and then we have another luxurious matte lipstick. Okay, that is different. And this is from Charming Escape. Ooh, nice packaging there. Oh my God. Like that lipstick has made more effort than I have in my entire life. Hmm, smells like flowers, but like fake flowers. I don't want to ruin it, but I also really want to ruin it. The, the bullet looks a little bit unstable there. I might use those two together. I might do like a nice little ombre with them. So then I can just try out two different lipsticks in one. Let's swatch this, cause I haven't yet. Um, we have the matte liquid lip color. So this is the matte liquid, I'm just gonna swatch. That's the liquid lipstick. That's pretty pale. I would probably want a darker liquid lipstick and then, and then something to go with that. But then you just have a standard gloss as well. So maybe that was like a lip liner, could be nice. I'm gonna go in with this, uh, whatever it was called first, the Blossoming Beauty Long Lasting Matte Lipstick first. I could potentially put that liquid lipstick right in the center. We'll see how like intense this is. So I'm just gonna apply this straight from the bullet at first. I might need to go in and tidy it up in a second. Pigmented, creamy. I think realistically what I'm gonna have to do because it's not the most precise thing to apply. I'm assuming you would just use a liner with this as well. I'm just gonna apply it where I want it. Ignore the border of my lips right now because I'll tidy that up in a second. Yeah, very pigmented as you can see. Let's now try this lipstick, the Charming Escape one was it? Pretty pink color. Oh God, I'm so pink today. And then you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm wild, no one can stop me. I'm gonna use a touch of that matte liquid lipstick. Ugh. This is supposed to smell like chocolate. Smells like chocolatey dust. Like, I understand the chocolate smell, but it's just, it's not, it's not quite it. So I'm just gonna do a tiny little bit of that in there. And then should we add a bit of the gloss? Just a little bit, just so it doesn't dry it out too much. 
See? No one gets left behind. Apart from the birthday lipstick. The, the birthday girl gets, gets ignored today. <laughs> I'm gonna tap that gloss in. I mean, I have tried so many Kiko lipsticks in the past, um, and I feel like once you have tried a lot of the formulas, you kind of know what you're gonna get, and these are, yeah, I, I'm not surprised by anything. I like them, nice colors. I do really, really like the Charming Escape one. That's such a nice pink shade. I now, can you guess what I'm about to say? I don't think I've ever said it on my channel before, ever. Can you guess? Leave it down below. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye. I'm going to tidy up my lip line and sort my hair out. And I think we will be done. Honestly, I bet none of you saw that coming, did you? <laughs> Plot twist. All right guys, so this is the finished look. And you know what? I'm actually quite into it. There's a lot of pink going on, but I also feel like it's quite wearable. It is currently almost 20 past 10. I don't know if you can see because of my stupid phone background, but it's 20 past 10. And I'm gonna wear this for a little while. I don't know how long I'll be able to wear this for. Um, at least like at least like a good amount of hours though. Um, but yeah, let's see how we're looking so far. So the, the foundation, after I use the setting spray, way better for me personally. Obviously you can see I've got a nice shine to my skin. Thank you so much to the highlighters. And there's a little bit more texture than like my normal sort of day to day foundations. It's gone into my smile lines a little bit, but otherwise it, it is looking a lot better. I did add a tiny little bit. There's a piece of fluff on my face somewhere. There it is. Oh my God, did I just wipe something on my face? <gasps> I did. It wasn't a piece of fluff. It was a speck. Yeah, so basically I used a little bit of that darker eyeshadow that I used for my liner, just ever so slightly on my inner corner. Um, and that's pretty much all I did. And obviously it just like sorted out my lip line a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to go about my day. I think I'm gonna head into town for a minute and get a couple of bits. And then yeah, I will show you guys how everything looks in a second. But yeah, let me know what you think so far down below. Uh, like this video if you haven't already, subscribe, turn on notifications, all of the above. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right guys, God, I just looked at myself and like, whoa, what is that hair? It has been a while and I'm like talking a little bit funny because Ollie cooked some barbecue food, half cooked barbecue food, the barbecue then ran out of gas, had to finish it in the oven. Don't know why that story was relevant, but had, um, yeah, lots of barbecue food, absolutely stuffed, feeling knackered now. So if I have some in my teeth, pretend that I don't. It is quarter to 10 in the evening, so I've had this on for a while now. And don't get me wrong, I'm not looking the freshest right now. I'm literally looking at my eyes like, what is that? Yeah, so not looking as fresh, but my lipstick has stayed on so well. I haven't touched up any part of my face, like at all. Um, and it doesn't look, it just looks more glowy, which I kind of prefer. I actually think the foundation and everything wears really, really well. It might not be my most favorite finish or formula, but it wears really, really nicely. The mascara hasn't crumbled or anything. The lipstick has stayed on so well. Again, I had like little kebab things. We had like potato salad, normal salad. Uh, we had ice cream at the end. Gino DeCampo's lemon ice cream, saw it in Asda, 10 out of 10, obsessed with that. So I had a lot of that, went in for like seconds and then thirds. Um, so yeah, I ate a lot of food and my lipstick is still on. Everything is still pretty much on. It just looks a little bit more glowy, which like I said, I'm a fan of. So yeah, uh, definitely lasts a long time on your face. I would probably say my favorite products from today have to be, hmm. I really, really like the setting spray. Big fan of that. These little highlighter balls. Um, I asked you guys if any of you use them because I never use things like this, but I really, really love these. And then also like the lip products, to be honest, there were like a lot of good things. Nothing necessarily stood out like, whoa, this is like the biggest game changer ever. Although I really, really did like the setting spray. But yeah, once again, there's a lot of good stuff from Kiko. And again, like obviously loads of their products are super affordable and a lot of the time, the limited edition collections are on sale. So if anything takes your fancy, check it out. Uh, was there anything I wasn't that keen on? Maybe the powder. The powder like wasn't my fave. And the foundation, I'm not, 100% on just because, again, just because of the finish and everything, it's not necessarily suited to me. But yeah, otherwise, not bad. So anyway, I'm gonna take this makeup off now because I've had it on for long enough and I've got a cider downstairs. 
I might go and grab the cider. It's like a passion fruit one. Yeah, I might go do that. So I'm gonna go do that. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup. Let me know how you thought it wore and let me know if there's any other products you guys want me to try it from Kiko or like any other brand. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time and turn on notifications, all the above. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. All I can think about now is that, that cider in, in my fridge. So yeah guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't wanna smile too much in case I do literally just have like a whole kebab in my mouth. Okay, makeup off.